this is something we covered heavily, and we're talking about that first ever Portland teacher strike. It did end several months ago. Now, though, there is a lawsuit against the teachers union claiming it was an illegal strike. A group of parents seeking $100 million in damages for the thousands of families affected by the 11-day strike. Our Lisa Balick is live with details. Lisa, what can you tell us? Yeah, you know, on this, you know, it's kind of interesting because a lawsuit was filed and the unions do have the right to strike in Oregon. No question about that. But according to the lawsuit, it says there were things that they brought up in the negotiations that perhaps let the strike go on too long, things that should not have been bargainable. Digging into the lawsuit, I found they're suing over some of the issues brought up by the teachers unions at bargaining. The lawsuit claims they're issues that are not allowed to be discussed, and by including them, it dragged out negotiations and the strike. For example, the suit references the school curriculum and the school calendar, that they're not mandatory bargaining topics. Also, the issue of caps on class sizes for schools that are not low income. Those are just a few of the topics the suit claims should not have been in the teacher's proposal to the district. The four Portland families in the lawsuit are not named by the firm suing in their behalf. The lawsuit says they fear retribution for their children, students from kindergarten through high school. The lawsuit comes after the first ever Portland teacher strike, shut down schools for most of November, while the union and the school district were negotiating a new contract. The $100 million being asked for in the suit is for all PPS families who had to pay for extra child care, miss work, and other costs from the kids missing 11 days of school. I reached out to both the law firm and the teachers unions. They will not comment about the lawsuit. Now I did check and find out that the Chicago law firm that's representing the families is also representing parents that were after the strikes that happened in Chicago and a city in Massachusetts. Again, some of the similar issues. Now, as far as what was filed here, it was before the Employment Relations Board will be following this closely. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.